hi guys i am back with another video alex responds to donna i be in females dms i have receipts and he talks bathroom situation let's get into it Before we get into this, y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of my videos, and go ahead and share it if you like. Now, he's on here, he's like, you know, he don't want no drama, he don't want no trouble, and all that kind of stuff. Like, he was in females DMs, and she was trying to play him, saying they weren't responding. Like, he said, everybody ain't for everybody, but some of them do respond, and some of them, he be in his DMs, but he don't mess with it either. He was like, they had it good, they had it bad, like, he, he just done with it, they just didn't work out. And then he started talking about the bathroom situation. You know how, you know, they got the video of him and Donna in the bathroom. And he's talking about it. He's giving the whole story how everything went down. And so, like he said, he don't want no drama. He don't want no beef. Like, what's done is done. He's done with it. You know, they just didn't work. Which, I kind of like that. They not really, you know, fussing or arguing or that. He just letting everybody know how it is and how he feels about it. But anyway, I'm going to let y'all go ahead and watch that. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I'm not going to do the things you need me to do. And you're not doing the things I need you to do for me. Simple. So let's just leave it, bro. Like, that's how that that's how the relationship ended. Of course, it was way more dramatic. But the moral to the story was, nigga, we're not good for each other. Let's just leave it. It's never, it's, it's not nobody involved. You feel me? Like, throughout the relationship, I call my truth. You feel me? Yeah, I involved other females. But I didn't fuck no other females. There was no, there was no... Penetration, there was no me being with bitches. Nah, it was me getting caught in bitches DMs. She said I was in bitches, bitches DMs and they wasn't answering me. So the fuck what, my nigga? It's bitches in my DM that I don't answer. It, it, like, everybody don't float everybody fucking boat, bro. It is what it is. I know I'm not the sexiest nigga to every bitch in this world. The same way every bitch in this world I think they sexy is not the sexiest to me. Like, real shit. That shit don't matter to me. You trying to throw shade on me as if that shit matters. Like, I don't give a fuck. Yes, I'm in a lot of bitches' DMs. And some of them don't answer, some of them do. You win some, you lose some. But if you live, you live to DM another day. You feel me? Fuck is you talking about? Like, getting me out of motherfucking character. Making me break my goddamn shirt. Feel me? But real shit, I don't want no beef. None of that. I just don't want my name even being spoken of. Like, real shit. Like, I'm not trying to throw dirt on her name. I don't want her throwing dirt on my name. I want us to go our separate ways and that just be it. Like, she tried to make it seem like she was like dipping on me or some shit, but it's like, come on. Niggas know I keep receipts. I keep receipts on a lot of things. That motherfuckers will never even think I got a receipt on. Shit, I still be sending bitches they nudes from 10 years ago. Bitches be like, where you from that at? Yeah, bitch. I still got it. I never do nothing with it. But bitch, I still got it. <laughs> I still know what it look like. Uh-huh, yeah. I know what it look like. I'm going to know what it look like forever. Uh, uh, to my drop box. Uh, uh, go down, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> Shit me. Nah, I gotta talk about it now. I gotta talk about it now. It was a very toxic situation, and that's why I said we just need to leave it alone. Do it for the nine nine and the two thousand. Even that shit, nigga swore up and down. I set her up in the bathroom. Meanwhile, I almost went to jail that night over that shit. I am an ass. Mm. So I never told y'all the story. So what happened with the with the bathroom store? It wasn't plans. I mean, it wasn't plans. I'm sorry. I, we finished filming a scene. We was drunk. We was a little snazz. And we went to go eat. 
And now they tell us it's like a 40 minute wait. So now I'm like, all right, bet. I'm going to go in the bathroom. I'm going to roll up real quick. And then we're going to walk around the parking lot and smoke or something like that. You feel me? So now I go to go in the bathroom. I get in there. I go to walk in the store. She right behind me. I'm like, hey, yo. <laughs> so now, you feel me? We was drunk. She was feeling, feel me? So I'm like, all right, let's go. I still got to roll the blunt, though, because we still got to smoke. That's why I was still rolling the blunt, because... This was an urgent situation. This is what I came in here for. You feel me? So uh, I had to make sure that shit get rolled. So by the time we was done, we just, <clears throat> feel me? Because I was being in there too long. It would have been crazy. We don't know who could have came in there. And then boom, look, niggas came in. So as it's going on, you feel me? I'm getting into it. I'm like, all right, but it's lit. Next thing you know, I just like see something from like right here. And I looked up and I saw the phone over this shit. I tried to grab this shit. I said, oh, you motherfucker. That nigga grabbed that shit so fast, ran out the bathroom. I said, ooh, pull my shit up, nigga. Put that shit, ran outside. Now we walking. I see a nigga like this with his phone, but it's like, damn. Walking by, grabbed the phone. Him and his friend start bugging. Yo, give him back his phone, give him back his phone. Shut the fuck up. So I looked at the phone and got the Apple symbol on it. So I'm like, well, nigga, it's going outside with me now till this shit come on. Because I want to see if that shit in here, nigga. Simple as that. So now, I go outside. One of his little friends come out there. They're like, yo, just give him back his phone. I'm like, yo, tell him to come out here, put his fingerprint on the phone. So I go through the camera roll. If I don't see nothing, he can get his phone back. If I do see it, I'm just going to delete it. That's it, bro. Like, I don't want no problems. I just don't got time for that dumb shit. So now, they done called the police and all this extra shit. He ain't having it in his phone. It wasn't him. We, the cops came, told him what happened, blah, blah, blah. Then we went to another restaurant. That's when she went to the bathroom. I'm sitting at the table. One of my old homies, he hit me like, yo, I see you, I see you like get crazy in the bathroom. Nigga, I said, whoa, pause. What are you talking about, bro? But like that, that was like mad pause. He was like, bro, I know you, nigga, you in the back, nigga? I'm like, what? He sent me the link. It was on Facebook. I saw that shit, I said, oh, shit. I said, you motherfuckers. I said, you dirty motherfuckers. So then I go through the page, and I'm looking at some black ass nigga. Some, when I tell you he black, he was black as shit. I said, this nigga. I said, all right, he probably worked there. All right, bet. So now I'm just trying to do my research and shit, you feel me? Man, by the time she came back to the table, she knew. <sighs> Then it was just downhill from there. I was just like, God damn it. I said, this is some bullshit. Like, that shit blew mine. I was just, I was dead tight. Just because she, you know, she was, she was bawling in tears. I'm like, damn, shorty, like, you can't, like, don't, don't be, like, sad. Like, it's not, it's not, all publicity is good publicity, all right? At the end of the day, we're going to spin this shit whichever way possible. Feel me? But, like. It's all good. You feel me? We probably can get some checks from this shit. Feel me? And then Pornhub ripped us off. They did us filthy. They did us so fucking filthy. Production was excited. They couldn't wait. They That was the first time that anybody knew that me and her was messing with each other. We was trying to keep it on the low. You feel me? We wasn't even trying to let niggas know that we was fucking with each other. But once that video came out, it was over. It was over. We probably would have went the whole season without y'all even knowing that we was fucking with each other. Real shit. God damn it. Who the goddamn asked you? Who asked you? Stressing me out. She didn't have a fiance. I just said this. Her and the nigga was long gone. They was... Her and Mo was not together when me and her started dealing with each other. I need people to get that narrative out of their heads. They paid him to come down to Miami to fight me and be mad that we was fucking with each other. That's not what happened. Like, they was done already. Like, real shit. Like, I don't want to say that again because I don't know if I'm breaching anything and I don't want to get in trouble. So y'all better fucking listen to me. Shouldn't it? Y'all want me to keep a job, right, nigga? You want me to keep a job, right, nigga? But yeah, shit is just wacky, man.
Told y'all I don't want no beef with nobody. Nobody. All I want is peace. I got problems already. You feel me? I got mad issues in my life. You feel me? I don't need more issues. Nah, yo. Yo, if y'all know the real or that me and Mo fight, son. Oh my God, son. Yo, they set me up so right just to, just to, oh shit, Danya's in here. Hey, Danya. I I can't talk to y'all no more. Danya's in the spot. <laughs> it's one of my producers. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was mad nasty, but I, I had to get out. But yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy, yo. It was crazy. I'm not going to lie. Nobody's too big for me. Right, I'm not going to say nobody's too big for me. But the females that I deal with, they they not too big for me. Feel me? I like, I like, I like, I like, you know, a little hefty, a little sunshine, you feel me? But I really am, you feel me? Like, my baby mom's is like this small. Yeah, like this small. My baby mom's mad small. I ain't telling no secrets. At all. I'm just saying, man. Don't believe everything you hear. No. Believe none of what you hear. And only half of what you see. None of what you hear, half of what you see. Real shit. Even if it's coming from me. Y'all know who said that? I'm going to tell y'all anyway. My nigga Jigga. My nigga. Nah, Danya. It's dead. Nah, I was telling him about some old shit. You feel me? Yeah, I'm a little chubby chaser. But, Danya, I was telling him about my season six or seven. I did not think it was six, seven. I don't know. But I was telling him about some old shit that nigga's weird. Oh, 45 minutes, we live. I look up. If you're talking about the me and Mo fight, I look awkward because look. Like I said, they set it up good, but I fucked it up. So where, they, where, where I was seated at, I was supposed to be able to see him coming through the door. You feel me? Man, listen. I was drunk. I had a plate of salmon, Kit had made some salmon and shit. We got mad people that they just picked up from somewhere in Miami. They all in the house with us. We all dressed up and shit. I'm feeling good, feeling great. How are you? Dancing around with my salmon. I'm eating my salmon. I'm like, oh my God, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And I'm getting paid for this. This is fucking fire. Feel me? So I moved out the spot that they had me in. And then next thing you know, I was all the way over here. You feel me? So by the time I spun around, I seen a nigga, I'm like, damn. I'm like, come on, son. Like, y'all blowing my shit. So I set my salmon down because I'm like, I'm going to eat that when I'm done. You feel me? I'm definitely going to eat that. So we just going to get to it. And then he ran up there and he swung. And I'm like, oh, this nigga's fucking. Grabbed him up. Then security is all on us. Part of a story I'm going to leave out because it's incriminating, but... Nigga, that's what it was. Going about your business. But man's got paid very well for the funny. Niggas was not together. He did not give a fuck about her at the time. So he wasn't really mad at me. He was mad at her. But yeah, I'm going to stop telling y'all other people's business and shit because it's not my business. Feel me? I used to know how to do that. Like, oh, oh, oh. Mm. Judy. I don't think I finished the salmon after the fight because... What the fuck happened? I think production like threw it away, like IPAs. I think they threw it away. Yo, no, plush. And I had this conversation with my mother. Me and Michelle had this conversation. You feel me? And I, I told, I told Treva to her face. I told her your name, and she was like, 
I don't know who you're talking about. I'm like, how you don't know who I'm talking about? She said it was she had already did 16 people. So I'm like, oh, how many more people y'all got, nigga? The fuck? <laughs> but yeah, that's crazy. Still rooting. Me and my mother came up with a plan. Don't worry about it. Yes, we did. What's happening in here? I'm not. I'm not talking about C's. None of my conversation has been about C's. Guess what? Where's my dick in your mouth? Fuck is you talking about? Don't come up here. Asking me about nobody that you don't see me with. Fuck is you talking about? I'm booked in Greensboro, North Carolina, October 30th at Black Thumb Tattoo Parlor or Studio. Ma'am. It's a lot going on. It's like a lot going on. Yo, so look, I'm about to get my weight up. And when I get my weight up, all the bitches that ignore my DM, keep ignoring my DM. <laughs> yeah, it's up. I'm a beat up. Bitch, fuck you talk about chest out bunging. Yeah, I'm tattooing in, in, in uh, Greensboro at Black Thumb Tattoo October 30th between 1 and 7. Shouts to Kate Carter and Powerhouse Connect. I don't need a maid. I keep my, my house pretty clean. Don't ask my mother. Um, <laughs> I keep my house pretty clean, you know, when I'm not being lazy. But, like, it, it, it never goes, like... Past a day of like a little dirty, like I might have some dishes in the sink, and I'm just like, I don't feel like taking them out to put them in the dishwasher, to have to run the dishwasher. Like, I'd be on some lazy shit like that. <laughs> just privileged, <laughs> just mad privileged. I sound like a privileged kid. Um, but once once niggas started getting dishwashers, it was like nigga, these hands is too nigga. These right in my pocket, nigga. I'm not washing no dishes. It's beneath me, nigga. That's how I, that's how I got. You feel me? It's not beneath me though. Like I bust a dish down or two. You feel me? If I have to, if I have to, nothing too crazy. But I, I'm not about to bust down the whole sink. That's not my style no more. Hands get all wrinkly and shit. Start smelling weird and shit. Like, uh -uh, uh -uh. I got I got a little bougie over over the years. You feel me? Uh -uh. The beneath me is mad crazy. I'm not gonna lie. But real shit. Yeah, I, nigga. I'm pretty sure my water bill, if I had a water bill, I'm pretty sure my shit would be high. I'd be running the dishwasher and the, the uh, clothes washer all at the same time. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, it'd be smelling weird and shit. Like, and then you bust that shit down with the, with the soap. Still smell a little. Be like, come on, son. You over there. Washing all hard and shit. Like, come on, bro. I ain't got time for that. I'm funny. Nigga said, she said, I love you. You're my type. <laughs> Yo, y'all so funny. Like, if y'all, if y'all can see my DMs, my DMs is like unbelievable. Like, some of the shit is just wow, crazy. 2017 is crazy. 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 Fingers hurt and cramped up and shit. Like, you don't want to see another. And then if you bust all them bitches down by hand, and then the motherfucker going to put a dish in there right after, and they just like drop it in there. Yo, you know you going to fess shit up because why you playing with me? Real shit. Why you, why you playing with me? Girl. What is it that you want? A response? Like, oh no, damn well. Stop playing with me.
Sharon is Cameron, my boy. I wish you would start sharing. <laughs> maybe, maybe, you know. Yo, bro. <laughs> Yo, have. Yo, have. Yo, have. Yo, have. Yo, have. Yo, have. Stop playing with me, bro. Yo, it's definitely the last two. It's not the absolute last one. But yo, listen, all right? You see this here? This is what got it like that. You feel me? Otherwise, I would have been on like the fourth one. Maybe. <laughs> Probably the third. My head a little round. I ain't gonna lie. When he was talking about that bathroom situation with him and Donna, like he said, he went in there to roll up, but he was like, you know, she come following him. He was like, okay, well, she was down. I was down too. But he was like, I still had to roll up because that's what I went in there for. That was the most important thing. So in the video, you see him rolling up while they doing what they doing. And he like, shoot, I had to do what I had to do. And he said somebody was recording him. And he tried to get the phone. Like I was cracking up. Like he kept, he kept it real. He kept it real. Like he said, I still had to roll up. I wasn't going to stop rolling up because what we was doing. I was dying. Oh my gosh. How many of y'all seen that video? I know I did. But anyway, y'all like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check me out on social media. Make sure you check out my shop. Make sure you subscribe to Banger Plate Gang. Subscribe to Trish World. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, be blessed. Anyway, enough of that stuff.